This will touch John more than anything I can imagine. This will be the joy of joys in John's life. There's this little kid with bright blue eyes, scared as he could be. His name was Nurse Roy. This big old nurse would come on into my room. He would pick me up with his arms like this, get me on my feet. And I remember Roy coming in with his wonderful, strong arms and lifting John out of bed. It took the therapist eight months to get me on my feet. Eight months to get me just to stand up. It took Roy a total of two months. A part of me just kind of like melts inside. It's just like you want to help. You want to see them get better and you want to take their pain away. And so that's one step at a time. He never actually let my feet hit the ground, but he would hover me just above that ground, drag me on back to this bandage change. And on the walk back there, he'd say into my right ear, boy, you are going to walk again. Come on, I'll go with you. His um, gentleness and his wonderful, soft, deep voice uh, are what stand out in my memory. Man, first time I heard that guy say it to me, I, I hated that man, because I knew he was lying. I knew he was wrong. Then he comes into my room the following day, he picks me up out of that bed, gets me back on my feet, hovers me above the ground, drags me on back and says it again. He says, boy, you listen. You are gonna walk again. Come on, I'll go with you. And this goes on the five months I'm in hospital. And by the end of it, about halfway through maybe, I bought into that vision of walking. I was still being carried, I was still in a wheelchair, but I knew in my heart of hearts because of that vision that this man cast, that I would walk, just a matter of time. That night we were married, we had all of our friends and all of our families gathered in this church. And about the only person not able to make it was a guy named Nurse Roy, a guy who kind of made this whole thing happen because it would have been so cool to have him there sitting there in the church when his boy, walked on the altar, nervously rocked back and forth. She comes on down toward him. They greet, they meet, they say their vows, they kiss, then they turn around and walk down this aisle together. Everybody else was talking about death, besides one person. And he's talking about walking. That, that's the kind of vision, my friends, that will get us from where we are to literally live in target zero in everything you do in your lives. That kind of vision. We learned how to say thank you. Right, yeah, we did. You know, it's amazing. It's one of the best talks I've ever heard, and I've heard it 22 times in the last three months. Uh, you do a lot of things good, but there's some things you don't do worth a flip, fella. Uh, I want to ask you about something. What is this? It's my parents' book. All right, look, it's your parents' book. You didn't even mention it. These are for sale outside, okay? <laughs> now look, I, I, I'm just gonna give you a little advice. Anytime we get a little Yankee down here, we try to help them. I mean, you know, and I, those are my nephews. I gotta help them out a little bit. Well, let me just say this. If you're gonna try to promote a book, I would suggest, and it's just my suggestion that maybe you invite, you know, the authors down as opposed to having some clown in a book. So what do you think? So would you do this for me? Would you introduce the authors coming down right over here? John didn't feel he had a story. And then when he read what Denny and I were writing in the book, and he, he thought to himself, there is really a dramatic story here. This is something people might be interested in. And I think it just probably took John a while to realize that. John, score your points for your mama real quick. Oh, I got 
Oh, you wanted to be in your ball all year. <laughs> Come on back over here for just a minute, baby. Now, uh, listen, everywhere we go, one thing, when John leaves, folks start hammering me with questions, and I don't know the answers to them. I mean, I'd love to, but uh, we got just a minute, and we got Susan and Denny here. Anybody got a question they want to bounce off of them? Anybody? Cherie? John, I tell you, I have been so blessed. I have got to hear John speak several times, Southern Division, Southeast Division, and one thing that keeps touching my heart is, I guess what we do here is a safety renewal, that one thing or those things that are said that can impact your life. And you say, Nurse Roy, Nurse Roy, he said, you know, I'll ask you in a minute because I, I want to make a comment here about our safety renewal, but Nurse Roy, he said one thing to you in your life that you have remembered and it's impacted your life. Just like what we do with our safety renewal, you know, we want to say that one thing that's going to impact these people's life. Would you just remind us, what is that one thing? It's so simple, but yet so powerful that Nurse Roy said to you that I've heard time and time again. Right. What was that? Uh, first, when, when a six-foot giant says anything to you, you hear it. <laughs> and and what, he, what he said repeatedly was something to the effect of, boy, <laughs> you are going to walk again. Come on, I'll go with you. I'll go with you. It sounded like what? Boy, you are going to walk again. Well, or did it sound something like this? Boy, you will walk again. Would y'all please welcome Nurse Roy Whitehorn. There are people in your life that touch you so deeply, that do things for your children, and when they do things for your children, they're doing them for you. Up here. Whoa. <laughs> <Moral> weather. <laughs> well, you know when you're small. You know. <laughs> John, one thing you know, brother, you you challenged us, and uh, you know one thing you don't do is challenge a bunch of southern folks with a question about what more can we do. You assumed them. Well, I'm telling you, brother. <laughs> we just uh, we appreciate you, brother. We love you. We want to get y'all back together. John had an effect on me too. I never realized my interaction with John would create such a motivating thing for him. And I was totally surprised. You got him something there, brother. Tell him what you got him. Absolutely. Absolutely. John. Baseball number. For you. And the saying here, boy, <laughs> you will walk again. <laughs> So come and God walk with you. <laughs> it's okay. I'm very, very touched and very surprised of him even remembering me like this. It has been such a joy to meet everyone down here. John would talk about these wonderful people from Alabama Power, and I see why he is drawn to the goodness you and all the people that are connected with Alabama Power. And you all seem touched by John, but then again, John is very touched by you.